hope everyone's doing good today uh i i really want to check this video out uh the reason why assassin's creed shadows was delayed now there's been many speculations with assassin's creed um this week last past weekend was uh this is well today's wednesday uh but yeah, this uh, last weekend it was tokyo game show and assassin's creed pulled out uh ubisoft pulled out for showing off their stuff at at tokyo game show which for me i found a little fishy because um if and and then okay so they pulled out for showing the game at tokyo game show but then they also delayed the game as well um uh, the delaying part i can understand if you're like hey we want to take time repolish the game and everything but i feel like you will still like show like i've i've played many games at, um, and i tried out many builds that are, they're like yeah this game's not ready yet. Like, they will tell you they'll, they'll be like hey this game is not ready yet whatsoever uh, but this is what this is our current build there's gonna be some bugs this the, the bugs here or whatever wherever like wherever you see here is not the final present is not the final product and that's you know, that's what you always see when you're playing things early um in a in for for video games and they will tell you that it would even be like a fine print sometimes on the build being like hey this is not the final production of of everything so i found it a little odd that assassin's creed uh or uh, sorry ubisoft pulled out for tokyo game show um so i kind of and and then like a lot of people just thought like oh it's because they did de they delayed assassin's creed i think there's more to the story so hopefully this video here shows us um and gives us a little hint into the into the world of maybe why they they pulled out uh for tokyo game show because i like i said i, I just found it <laughs> i just found a little it's a little odd something fishy is going on here maybe they're like hey like uh a lot of the history stuff or a lot of the historical parts that that we're showing off here it's we 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 might not <laughs> we're not making it live out of out of tokyo game show you know type of thing so let's uh let's dive in here and, and see this video from uh uh insider right insiders yeah insider gaming uh they did they've been um they're the one who actually broke the story about assassin's creed as well so last week ubisoft announced that assassin's creed shadows would be delayed from its intended november release date to uh -huh. february 2025 while the announcement was somewhat of a shock publicly internally it was expected and desperately needed i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't consider the announcement to be a shock um i I remembered when Star Wars Outlaws uh, was announced, and that, that didn't have a release date. And then they showed off, and then they then they showed off Assassin's Creed. I like, I remember a lot of us were speculating on, well, when will like Star Wars has to be like a November game type of thing, and meaning meaning like like meaning Assassin's Creed is gonna be like what it's gonna be like early Feb like early like early twenty twenty five like a February date or something like that. Um, we were a lot of us were kind of shocked or at least a lot of us from the podcast were kind of shocked that uh assassin's creed and star wars were coming out two big big ips uh that were coming out uh the same year uh and then you know the star uh star, star wars coming out uh, star wars outlaws coming out in the, in the late august and then of course the previous date first uh for assassin's creed was november um we, you know, it was, was kind of shocking to see that because, like, how are they pulling this off? Like, that, like it's two big titles. Like, I can understand if it was like a, like a, like a, like a double A game. You know, even though sometimes Ubisoft claims claims their games to be quad quad A. Don't know how that makes any sense, but uh, it it just it, it just kind of it it it's too much. It, even even we were under like even people in the industry were like. How are you guys pulling this off? I know you have so many studios and you have like a 24 hour clock, like work system where like studios in the, um, in like one side of the world will be working. And then one, once their day is done, once their nine to five is done by the time it's five o'clock, it's like, it's 9 AM over here type of thing, you know? Um, anyway, it, it, I don't know how they were planning on pull it off and it kind of makes sense why they have so many bugs when the game comes out or like these like so many errors or things are slipping through the cracks because like it, 
it's too, there's too much, man. It's absolutely too much. It's, there's a lot of it can be also like a lot of mismanagement stuff. Anyway, I'll, we'll play the video. Ubisoft <laughs> announced that the game was delayed to quote polish and refine the experience. Okay. Then in its earnings update, the company further claimed that the delay was due to quote the learning from the Star Wars Outlaws release. Now both claims are true, but beyond a few short words. <laughs> okay, so they're basically the. The learning from Star Wars. Star Wars should never have launched the way how it launched. And the one thing with di and like I'm surprised like I'm surprised they didn't have a tighter grip or a tighter management on Star Wars. Especially you're working with Disney. Disney doesn't fool around with their IP. Um especially with if you see leaked documents with like the whole uh, Insomniac and, and the Disney thing on that side there. They don't play around with their they don't play around with their uh with with their ip and they want like results back so i'm surprised ubisoft like with all the promotion they were doing with star wars they heavily promoted this game i think it's one of the biggest like like heavily budget games like that they uh for ubisoft so from before they when before the game launched and before the game even got to like hands for like uh for uh for for press and, and reviewers and everything like that um i was kind of like you would have thought that they they all their t all the t's are like crossed and eyes and all the eyes are dotted because you don't want to mess up with with this this is like this is like a big break situ uh, situation like you you know, you're like you're you're at, you're at a work like you're you're working for some company, and then next thing you know, like, all right, the boss is like, hey, I'm gonna give you a shot, kid. You know, or this is you, like, all right, you're you're you're, you're always the bench player, but all right, today, you're starting type of scenario. You can't mess this up. You can't mess this. This is no. This is not like your own IP. You're like, oh, okay, well, we could, you know some errors here there i will fix it there later for our thing it's a small budget game no big deal oh this is a big deal they need they need results and now it like i get a like like the collector is here it's it's time it's time to pay rent in a way you know like where's all our money you know and money has to come from somewhere which is probably why they delayed assassin's creed shadows being that assassin's creed always sells very uh usually like you know typically sells well um all the time and uh they don't want to mess this up and then and then like the fact where the whole you know uh misinformation on japanese culture um just like just the this pain like homage and like just inaccurate historical um uh pieces not obviously uh yusuke i'm not talking about yusuke whatsoever um like the you, the assassin's creed characters and like the characters in the game they were never historically accurate. They're like they, they may grab someone who is from history, but like they're just tell, they're telling their own story, you know. Um, and like there was no Connor working with George Washington or, or whoever, whoever his name was or anything like that, you know. But like I mean, they had the goddamn Pope in like Assassin's Creed too, you know. But like the buildings and of of how things look, those are like the historical accuracy that they always try to aim to get correct correct uh uh correct and everything i remember even with mirage like we i talked to the historian on who worked on the game there and he and he like made sure like he was like oh no like this is how um this is how baghdad would have looked back then type of scenario um and like you didn't hear any backlash about that game whatsoever but like for this one for some reason with the japanese culture they're like well this had pieces wrong this sword is not right uh, that's not how a samurai looks. Why are people bowing, bowing to him? People back then wouldn't be doing that. Like you know, it's all, it's, it's all like it's all misinformation. Is that, is that if, like did they? Is that if they they didn't get the historian in time, or they like, or 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 they got a or someone's lying on their resume type of thing? You know. Internally, the developers had been pushing for a delay for the better part of a few months, which had fallen on deaf ears until the release of Outlaws. Okay. Ubisoft CEO Yves Guimau pointed out in an internal memo that Star Wars Outlaws initial sales quote proved softer than expected, with Guimau pointing out that the critics rated the game a 76 out of 100 on Metacritic. Now I think it's yeah, I gave 
for me when uh when i review this game i give it a seven uh it was like it's at best it's a seven it's a seven you know um it's not a spectacular game it's not something i'm like oh i can't wait to go back for this and everything but like man look at those user <laughs> look at that look at that user uh score 5.4 like there was just so many frustrating parts with star wars where like the fact you couldn't distract two guards with using nyx the stealth just like people like like some enemies will have like eagle eyes from like the distance they're like i see you and you're like how the hell you see me and then there'll be like a guard you could be you could be standing right in front of a guard and be like oh what a boring day today like he has no idea you're there like it's so crazy it's so crazy uh like so and like this is coming from like a developer who is known for stealth how do you this is your bread and butter what happened well like, how, did, how did this happen you know it's important to note here though that the user score is a far lower 5.4 out of 10 and although we now another thing i would say about the user score It's the same way how you can't really, you can't really. I know some people are like, oh, well, the journalism probably the like the the uh, journalism people may have been paid off. I've I've heard many rumors about that. I didn't get a single dime from Ubisoft. I did like I like you can check out my review at Gaming Network all that stuff. But like with with this game, it did it feel like except like from the pros from from what I like and from the cons and everything. Um, no, I gave it a seven, and, I, and that's me. That's just how I felt about the game. I know some other people who are diehard Star Wars fans. They're like, this game's like a five at most. You know, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but from what I played, especially till like the end, an end part of the game, I um like the, the end part I probably liked the more. Like I'll probably say the last hour of the game, but the users, but like. Both, I, the, both the same way that people are complaining, like, well, we can't trust the the, the pub uh, pu the publicist side, the press side. You know, they may have been paid off or something or inf whatever. But I, I don't trust the user score either. Yeah, exactly, Greek. Like the both both scores, um, dubious for for different reasons. It could just be people be like, this is not the Star Wars, this is not the Star Wars game I wanted. So I'm giving it a two. You know, like so. Yeah, I can't both those things. I I think you have you can't bring those you can't bring those to the table. You know, we weren't given the exact figure on what Ubisoft anticipated Outlaws to sell within its first month. The game just surpassed one million units sold at the time of publishing. Its performance has seemingly that's that's not good, by the way. <laughs> what I mean, I know like a lot of games wish for a million sales. This game was meant to sell like five five million probably minimum it's alarm bells to ring out at ubisoft headquarters which not only led to the approval of assassin's creed shadows being delayed to q1 2025 but also finally putting games back on steam which is a request that every ubisoft team has been pushing for for years absolutely thank like put your games everywhere if you want to sell the game well clearly the ubisoft plus thing is not working maybe even stop doing that like if it's costing you to if it's costing you to uh I, I mean if it's no cost then continue it but don't don't hold your games on like it's, it's sorry you and like cause it's, it's odd they put their games on yes they do they do put their games on ubisoft play but then they'll put their games on epic the same time who the hell's on epic <laughs> i mean like no offense to epic people only go on people only go on epic to do three things now actually three things People go on Epic to play Fortnite. People go on Epic to claim their free games. On and then and then I'll and then I'm lumping in Alan Wake currently right now. So you know what? People there's there's two and a half reasons because currently right now Alan Wake is is a is a thing right now. Once Alan Wake di dies down or maybe eventually makes his way. Once Alan Wake makes his way to Steam, once wherever, if if that if that deal is ever done, because I don't know if the deal is, hey, we helped you publish the game, you have to keep it here, type of thing. Um, it may not, it may never reach, uh, it may never reach Steam until unless like whatever. I don't know. I think what I think there is probably like a deal, like a exclusivity deal, or um, or unless Remedy gets the rights, um, 
and then eventually throws it on. But it may, uh, it, it'll be it'll be on Epic for a while. Uh, watch watch that as soon as that announces, they probably mention something. Anyway, so there's two and a half reasons that you're on Epic. Why the hell are you not putting, if you're willing to put your game on Epic, why are you not putting it on Steam? You know, the same with X Defiant. I love X Defiant. Oh man, we have, our player count has dropped. It, it was a million players playing it. And now who knows what number it is. Put the game on, put the game on Steam. That's where the fans are. You you put, how you sell a product, you go where the customers are. But the big question remains, why was Assassin's Creed Shadows delayed? Overall, it's a complicated question without a single answer, but it boils down to a strict. The, the delaying part, I understand. The game's probably not ready. I want to know why they pulled out of Tokyo Game Show. Development timeline, polishing, and addressing the Japanese community's cultural and historical accuracy concerns. But first, let's address some of the wild rumors about Yasuke. Okay. He's not going to be removed from the game. Nor should he. However, sources have said that the team has been actively addressing many of the historical and cultural concerns, which started before the game's reveal following external playtests, and were then accelerated further following the game's initial reveal and mass feedback. This includes changing some of Yusuke's story and how he's portrayed in the game, as well as fixing architectural details and ensuring that the game is historically grounded while fitting into the Assassin's Creed universe. Fundamentally, though, these are issues that should have been caught internally before the game's reveal. Absolutely. Especially given Ubisoft's strict asset approval process. As for so, I think that's probably, that's probably the reason why they pulled out of uh, Tokyo Game Show. Because they're probably like, hey, a lot of things that you see here, if you go to Japan showing this game, you are not going to make it alive. <laughs> You're not coming back. You're not coming back at all. And you know, you know what's and like they have a you know it was, you know what's so funny about this as well. Ubisoft has there's a Ubisoft Japan. How are they not like were they just ignoring the the Japan team? Were they just ignoring them? Like I feel like the Ubisoft Japan team should be like almost like front like front run like front runners for like who's the head. Wait a minute. Who's the leading studio for this game? <laughs> do, do we know who to, do we know which uh, Quebec? Why is Quebec the leading studio? <laughs> Assassin's Creed Shadows is the upcoming action role playing game Developed by Ubisoft uh, Quebec and published by Ubisoft. Okay, well, okay. It can be the game. They can be developed, but like, I feel like <laughs> shouldn't Japan? They have a Ubisoft Japan, right? What do they do? Are they like a studio, or are they just are they just Ubisoft? No, there is. Okay, wait a minute. There is a Ubisoft. Is it Ubisoft Osaka? Lead technical art. So they have job postings there. All right, let's see. Hold on a minute. Let's see about. There is a. They're looking for. So it seems like they do make games at. Ubisoft Japan which is Ubisoft Osaka. Why are they not lead? Or not, not even, okay, not even lead, but why, like, why are they not like, like one, like, okay, if, if Ubisoft Quebec is 1A, why are they not 1B? Being like, hey, this, what? I don't, I, wouldn't you have like, the, the Japanese team heavily integrated into this, being like, hey, this is not accurate, or, they wouldn't do this, making sure like it's very accurate to the Japanese uh, culture. Because I'm glad I'm glad they're not taking out Yusuke. They shouldn't, honestly. And if people are upset that you have to play as a black uh, black uh, uh, black character, like come on, this is this, you play as many. 
You play as many black characters elsewhere. This is just like once again, Ubisoft Assassin's Creed games are not are are, to, are not like historically accurate games, you know. So like, who care? Like who cares if you're playing a black samurai, you know? So yeah, black. You didn't know that, but this this person was a real person. He's kind of like the Yusuke is kind of like John Doe mismatches. He's kind of like a John Doe in a way. There's no real information about Yusuke. Uh, a lot of the facts are like if you ever go if you ever go on like the Wikipedia about Yusuke. Uh, it's like it's heavily edited. I think this is this thing's probably edited the most. <laughs> you know, this thing this thing's probably heavily edited the most. But like Yusuke is kind of like a John Doe situation where like you will hear many tales of them, but then you don't know which one is really true or not, you know? So but I'm glad they're not taking him out. Nor should they. And like like I said, people who are upset that why is it that we're in Japan? We're playing as a, a black samurai. No, well, that's that's the story they want to tell. But what Ubisoft has to get right is the historical environment and the, in the historical culture of, of the Japanese culture. They have to get that right. And clearly, from what they were showing from before, and there was there were different art pieces. They were using Chinese uh, art pieces in the game. What does that have to do with Japanese culture? And like clearly it was upsetting the Japanese culture. The Japanese culture don't care if it's if they're if people are playing as Yusuke, a black samurai. This is other people here over over here, they're more upset about it, you know? And then you know what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen as well? And like I know this is crazy to say, now that the games come out in February, there's gonna be people saying that like, oh, this is probably for they probably put it in February because of Black History Month as well. You know it's gonna come. You know it's coming. Even if you were thinking it, you're thinking it now. And watch, it's gonna happen. When it when the day happens, it's like damn, he called it. You know, <laughs> you know, you know they're gonna come up with that. You know, I've seen Japanese people say that he's a real, uh, he's a real black man. Well, no, like he is a real person. He is a real person. Yusuke is is an actual real person. Um, but like his story, his like. Like him being like the like a a, a samurai, that there's no like there's no real like like I said like is it, it ha he has many tales he's kind of like he's kind of like a John Doe in a way but he he is a real person he is a real person but like he was brought over as uh he was brought over this guy was a uh see I like, I don't know this even like from what. 1581 like he was brought over as as a as a slave in a way so um like he was he was serve he was serving people so um anyway i'm glad they they're taking the time and like it clearly it clearly sounds like it was being addressed as well you know it's not like it was being it's not like it was being addressed by many people in in um who were in and at at ubisoft but clearly management it sounds like management wasn't listening and they're probably like no this game has to come out now too bad type of thing you know um so i'm glad they're finally listening because it's a lot of things are just falling through the cracks and i just want to know what about like the historic like the historians who, who make sure the game is accurate and everything how did so much pass through like this is someone lying about their resume for how these issues fell through the cracks we're told that historical experts were brought onto the oh, project much later than usual for oh, never mind, I got my answer. <laughs> and that miscommunication between teams and cutting corners when it came to the approval process of assets in order to meet deadlines were also at play. As for the game's polish and issue with bugs, that's wild. That is absolutely wild that historians came on much later into the development. And a lot of things fell through the cracks. Like you made sure with Mirage, you got the accuracy of, of, of Baghdad, you know? With Assassin's Creed, Italy, make sure Italy, Italy was correct. 
pretty sure Francis is correct. You will think you'll be extra careful with with uh, with the Japanese culture. You know, look at uh, look at me. People who went over there and disrespected their culture. Look what happened with them. You know, <laughs> you know, Miss Ma uh, Miss uh, Miss Miss Ash Rocks. Hello, welcome on in. You know, you know that's is that crazy? Like you, like people who got people are banned in Japan for disrespecting their culture. You know, why would you? And this is I think this is why they didn't they didn't go to Tokyo Game Show. It's pretty self-explanatory. The game is currently not at the stage it needs to be for release, and we're told that there have been some tweaks to some of the gameplay mechanics and elements that are going to take some time to incorporate. While some of these issues were highlighted in recent playtests and mock reviews, uh -huh. these are end of development issues that are just going to take a little longer. Of course, these aren't new issues for the team. Seven developers working on the project have said that they've been pushing for a delay for some time, and their situation had even been heard about at other studios within the company. Ultimately, though, the delay comes... Seven of them? And they were just like, no, you, we have to release this game. I Like I said, when they announced Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed... I was like, well, there's, there's no way one of them is not coming out. And by one of them, I a lot of us were thinking as Assassin's Creed Shadows was not coming out this year. And then when they said like, oh, no, it's coming out in November. A lot of us were like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> this game's coming out in November? What? The, like, what in the world? Because uh, Star Wars seemed more ready than Assassin's Creed Shadows. Uh, so when they like, it's it's wild. They were they were trying to push for two. And like I said, with, with Star Wars Outlaws, Disney wants money. And this is why this is why they're like, we can't screw up Assassin's Creed Shadows because this needs to sell so much this needs to sell so much money that we could pay Disney off. You know? Because they screwed up with the Disney thing. You're so tired, Miss uh Miss Miss Ash. Hey, hope you get some rest. You're all you're busy traveling and everything. Hi Navocado, how are you guys doing? It's down to the strict development timeline and the need to address the issues caused by that set timeline. As far as why Ubisoft headquarters continues to ignore the developers on almost every level, the company's executive committee and board of directors will decide in their review, although 80% of 40 Ubisoft developers asked think that this ends in no change or layoffs at all. For now though, Ubisoft will release Assassin's Creed Shadows on February I think this is bad management. And while the game isn't matching Valhalla in pre-order numbers, which launched on Steam and last-gen consoles, the numbers are solid overall and should only rise further given the return of the games to Steam when they launch in February. All right, well, we'll see. The game, man, Mark, chat, what day is it? Today is October 2nd. Write this down, all right? At 4.58 p.m., there's going to be... Now Now people, people, when people realize Yusuke is not going anywhere and the game's coming out, the game's coming out in, in February, everyone's going to be like... Ubisoft's doing this for Black History Month. Oh my, here we go. <laughs> it's gonna, it's going to happen. Why? It's going, it's going to happen. It's, it's, it, you know, you know, it's going to happen. That I, I watch. There's going to be some tweets out there. It's going to be wild, you know. Uh, I'm glad they, they're not getting. I'm glad they're not getting rid of Yusuke, as they shouldn't do that whatsoever. And I, and also, um, I'm like, I'm glad they're also they're finally listening to the developers and taking the time to. Um, taking the time to uh, get everything corrected and and accurate as well because uh, Ubisoft's in trouble, man. <laughs> they're they're in deep trouble. Their their stock numbers aren't looking good whatsoever. Uh, that's fine, Avocado. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I hope I like their their stocks are not not good, and they can't afford a flagship game to uh. To uh, to fail honestly, um, I think there was like another article here. But I think it's pretty much the same thing as well. Um, right over here, with uh, yeah, Ubisoft developers push for Assassin's Creed uh, Shadows, Assassin's Creed uh, Shadows delay. Now, like I said, I'm kind of surprised. Is it, yes, the head developers are Ubisoft Quebec. The studio uh, that's that's the studio behind it. Uh, this was far from a surprise when you saw uh, Quebec, the student behind Assassin's Creed Shadows. Um, why is there no is Ubisoft Japan? <laughs> like, why, why are we not working along with them to make sure, hey, let's just make sure we get things right, you know? 
uh i'm not saying ubisoft japan should have been uh the the lead studio but like they need to be they need to be buddies you know and the, maybe they are working working together with that uh but anyway i'm glad to see that it's coming out on steam hopefully more of their games come out on steam as well um uh, i know steam gives like a little boost i know um uh, it helped out with sales with uh uh prince of persia lost crown which is a fantastic game fantastic game by the way um but then there's also uh needs to help with x defiant my 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 lovely x defiant game needs needs help you know free to play game steam steam users love free to play game you know they love it so uh but yeah let me know in the comments uh below everyone what do you uh, what do you think about this and the assassin's creed i still think something else happened but i think i think it might it might have been the historical inaccuracy um stuff and they were they were not gonna make it out alive, that's for sure.